what a M. Bison. He is literally, I'm just going to tell you straight out, he's like a five star tractor, okay? A little bit better, I think so. He's like a five star tractor. Um, so let's have a look at his skills before we decide how to ruin him and talk about, yeah, the best way to ruin him. All right. So, skill one attacks the enemy and provokes the enemy for one turn with a 50% chance. This attack will deal more damage according to your max HP. Already we're thinking max HP, okay? So that's a skill one and a provoke. So if you're getting if you're provoking units, you're gonna be taking hits, okay? So and max HP. You get you get where I'm going. Okay, skill two attacks the enemy and provoke to decrease the defense for one turn. This attack will deal deal more damage according to your max HP. Okay. Just because it's dealing is more damage according to your max HP doesn't mean we're building him on crit damage, okay? But attacks the enemy, defense break for one turn, and gets a provoke, okay? So he's going to be getting more hits again. Again, I'm still thinking very, very tanky. And what makes him better now, especially after the balance patch, is his passive. So destroys the enemy's max HP by 50% of the enemy's current loss HP after attacking the enemy. So depends how much HP is lost. It destroys. He destroys HP really, really fast and very, very quick. It's basically destroy runes inbuilt into his passive. So you don't even have to put destroy runes. I'll just say that right now. Also, when allies are being attacked by the target with the destroyed HP, so whoever HP you've destroyed decreases the income, incoming damage in proportion to the destroyed HP and increases the chance of landing a glancing hit. So he's got inbuilt destroy glancing and yeah pretty good and that's his passive so there's no cooldown on that all right i'm just gonna say it off the bat you can just triple revenge okay you can build track down double revenge destroy this guy can build him on triple revenge double revenge seal you don't need to put destroy he is destroying hp very 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 fast i would recommend you meet 126 126 plus speed okay if you're using him in siege you just want to hit that 120 speed it's just like a minimum speed requirement just so you can have his proper turns and not get overlapped by the enemy okay so you want 126 speed that's the first thing you don't need crit rate you know you don't need crit damage he's taking hits he's defense breaking he's provoking uh you can pair him with the wind monkey you can pair him with like wind monkey i don't know what else can you i think the wind monkey is really good um that's about it <laughs> uh attack i don't think you need attack because he scales off max hp and you need defense because he will be taking hits okay so resistance not as much as like resistance will be hp will be the first priority defense will be the second priority speed you just need to hit that minimum speed requirement and then accuracy will be over resistance because he needs accuracy you can put accuracy from skill one on artifacts or skill two artifacts mainly skill one because he's revenging with skill one and he's provoking okay um so yeah so hp if possible on slot two or you can go speed with a hp high substat for slot two so you can go like for example like this you can go speed sorry hp then you can go speed and then just go revenge for example, you can do that. All right, if you want to hit that speed requirement, if he can build him on triple HP with speeds, okay, that is the best way to go. Um, you can put a set of seals seal in there. You can put it. Oh, sorry, let's focus. You can put a set of seal in there. So double dish, double revenge seal. I think single revenge double seal can work as well, but um, yeah, that's that's how you want to do it. So for artifacts, you want to go damage taken from wind so the the, the water is not going to hurt him because it's going to hardly crit wind is going to be the number one hitter on him like if it's been targeted by ai like defense ai so wind is going to target him and then water will be the second unit light and dark of course so you can go damage taken from wind all right and preferably damage taken from light or water as the other options or dark usually there's light defenses but also dark and then for the second artifact, you want to skill one accuracy, uh, skill two accuracy if you can, um, damage from counter attack as a third option if you want, but preferably not. That's, that's it. That's how you ruin him. Is there another way you guys would ruin him? This, this is passive. Decreases the incoming damage in proportion to the destroyed HP and increases the chance of landing a glance and hit. 
So when the enemy has got destroyed HP and then he's hitting another unit, not the M Bison, is increasing the chances of landing a glancing hit on them. And the damage is also reduced. Okay, that's I think that's about it. Yeah. Okay. Mm, Alright, cool. Comment down in the video if you want to see a different unit for the next Hadaroon. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Bye.